Porcelain Buildup, Five Surface Domain Range Buildup System, Module 5. Module number 5 covers the system of building and carving porcelain. This unique system is predicated on the proper usage of a taladium porcelain instrument and precondensing porcelain. The objective of this system is to systematically carve anatomy based on five surface alignments. Number one, occlusal, two, buccal, three, lingual, four, mesial, and five, distal. Thus, an original geometric block of porcelain initially applied during the buildup is progressively and logically reduced to an anatomical form of the tooth or teeth in the arch. The benefits of this system are threefold. One, it is labor-saving due to the fact the porcelain technician eliminates wasted motion by following a series of sequential steps in building and carving. Two, it produces a case in a state of completion that is conducive to easy porcelain finishing. Three, this system of porcelain buildup is duplicated in the porcelain finishing phase. As a result, it is a logical system of simplicity that can be easily learned. Moreover, it produces better coordination between the porcelain builder and the porcelain finisher. This build-up system of properly condensed porcelain ultimately produces a desired consistent shade tab glaze. Porcelain Buildup, Five Surface Domain Range Buildup System, Complete System. The geometric progression starts with the block form. The first surface to be refined is the occlusal surface. The second surface to be refined is the buccal or labial and lingual surfaces. And the third surface is the mesial and distal surfaces. The Taladium Porcelain Carver serves a couple of functions. Because of the exact measured thickness of the blade, the interproximal tears are kept to a minimum, and the diagonal cut at the end acts like an auger to shear the porcelain instead of tearing it in carving. Cervical buildup. Use a gingival porcelain with a higher, brighter chroma in the cervical area. Mix the porcelain to a consistency of thin for larger bridge work and thick for single or smaller bridge work. Start by placing a piece of tissue over the saddle area. Next, a small amount of porcelain with the instrument to the saddle pontic area. Then the application of cervical blended porcelain in the gingival area. For the body buildup, apply gingival porcelain from the cervical to the incisal. Do not condense during this phase of buildup. At this stage, apply the porcelain to the bridge work or copings without concern of condensing. Always keep the porcelain in a wet state and never use freshly wetted porcelain for six to eight hours after it's been wetted. The reason is that the condensing porcelain removes the air and water out of the porcelain particles. If porcelain is kept wet, the air is drawn out of the lattice structure, leaving only the water to be removed. And this is usually done during the build-up manipulation. To accomplish this, keep the porcelain in stacking dishes and wet them periodically with distilled water at least once a day. For instance, at the end of a workday, check each dish for any additional powder or water needed. In this first phase of buildup, simply overstack the porcelain on the buckle and then lay an even amount on the occlusal. On the buildup, use a Kleenex tissue for control and to draw out excessive moisture.
The next steps in the porcelain buildup are putting the teeth in a domain range. This is described as a five surface alignment with the occlusal, buccal, lingual, mesial, and distal, aligning these five surfaces in relationship to the arch. Occlusal surface. Check occlusion with opposing model. Gently tap the opposing all the way down against the buildup. With anteriors, gauge the length and cut to the exact length accordingly. Lingual, buccal, or labial. Eliminate any porcelain excess that might be overlapped on the adjacent teeth. If this is not done, it could cause an error in the alignment of the buccal and lingual. Next, with the Taladium porcelain carver, use the curved surface of the instrument to contour the buccal and the lingual surfaces. Mesial and distal. Make light divisions with the Taladium porcelain carver to establish the width of each tooth. Incisal cutback. Start with the Taladium porcelain carver and cut across the buccal or labial surface at an angle of 45 degrees and up to 70 degrees, depending on the length of the incisal on the specific shade tab. This initial cut could go deeply to expose the opaque. If this happens, a small amount of porcelain later can be added to cover this up. Also, it may be better to know where the opaque is rather than guessing where it is. After the first buckle or labial cut is made, reestablish the width of each tooth with similar divisions. Then proceed to do the same with the lingual.